Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ega Tech. I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your Huawei phone, specifically my P40 Pro, but it should work on your P40 and your P40 Lite. But this time, you're not going to be needing a laptop or a desktop. You're just going to need your phone, an internet connection. So for this downgrade method, you're just going to be needing a USB OTG adapter like this one and of course a USB or a flash drive and of course I've linked the firmware download files on the description. So why would you want to downgrade your phone in the first place? So one of the primary reasons that you'd want to downgrade your Huawei phone is in order to install Google Play services. Now, so as you see here I've still got the Play Store correctly installed. Now if I go to settings and about phone you'll see that this phone is running on 10.1.0.182 and it still supports the Google Play services. But if you have this phone out of the box at this firmware, you won't be able to install the LZ Play or the app with the purple G icon as some people call it, and you won't be able to install Google Play Store on this base firmware. So in order to install Google services, you'd have to downgrade the phone. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's go ahead and start the downgrade process. So the link will take you to the XDA website so it's going to show you the different firmwares that you can download. So you've got the P40 Lite, P40 5G, P40 Pro Plus, and the P40 Pro. One thing you need to take note of guys is that if you can see here after the build number you've got C636 in my case so that is the Asia region. You have to check the number after the letter C and then only install the firmware that corresponds to that same build number. So in my case. I've got a P40 Pro here, 10.1.0.114, C636, so I'm going to be downloading that one. So in order to save time, I actually downloaded it before I started the video. So if I go to Files and Download, you can see that I've got it downloaded right there. So what I want to do is, I'm going to press and hold, and then Extract. To the current directory. Alright, that's done. So to go back to it, download it creates a deload folder. So now what you need to do is get your USB OTG, plug in your USB. Make sure the USB is bigger than 4 gig because this is pretty big, it's around 4.7 gig. So I suggest getting an 8 gig flash drive. Plug it in. Alright, so press and hold and copy. Flash drive over here and just paste it on the root. So it's been copied to your USB drives. There are two ways to actually install this firmware on your phone. You can either do it through recovery mode, so you have to turn off the phone 
and then press and hold the volume up and power until you get to the recovery and then install it from there but I'll show you a different way using the dialer. And there's an option here, number 4 is software upgrade. Use the memory card upgrade. Okay. By the way guys, before you start or do any of these steps, make sure you back up your phone because you're going to be losing all your data. This is going to do a factory reset on your phone whenever you try to do any sort of downgrade. When you get to the screen, you just have to click on the low-level format. So this is the part where it's going to do a factory reset on your phone. So that's why I said do a backup first before you do any of these steps. A few moments later All right, so start it up. Let's go through the initial setup So to test guys, let's go and see 10.1.0.114 now we're free to install the Google Play Store or GMS. To make it easy for you guys, use the Google Fire method because that is the easiest method of installing GMS that I've found so far. Link to that video is up here so just follow it and let me know how it goes. So for those who are asking if you still retain OTA, let's go to system updates. Oh, you can see it has a 1 there. So that means there is a pending software update that I can install and which is the 10.1.0.158. Now, of course, before you install this, make sure that you install your Google Play Store or your GMS and then go ahead and update to 158 and your Google Play services will still continue to work. So that's it for this quick video here, guys. Let me know if you have any problems getting this to work on your devices and I'll try to help out. But until then, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification and see you all in my next one.